Hi, it's Claire back with another art journal video. So today's uh, journal page was inspired by Southern Gal Designs on Instagram. And it was a page that Tiff did um, and I just loved it. And I thought I wanted to have a go. And because it involved drawing a face using a stubble all, which is something that I don't find easy to use at all. So I was going to use these um, alcohol ink prints that I'd made. Um, but if any of you've played with Upo paper before, it won't tear because it's plastic. So I had to cut it into pieces. Um, I would have preferred it to be torn, but that wasn't possible. So I'm just going to layer these colours and pieces into that sort of, if you imagine a diagonal line going from the bottom left corner to the top right corner, the um, coloured pieces that I'm going to stick down are kind of going to be in that top triangle segment of the page. Um, so I'm using gel medium to stick these down. Um, some of these al um, alcohol ink prints have got um, some um, metallic foil on there as well, just to um, I was just sort of playing with them and um, that just adds an extra element to the collage. So I'm just layering different colours, trying to use really bright colours as well. And then I'm adding some um, pieces of book paper as well. So one thing that I did learn about alcohol inks is that um, eventually the gel medium seemed to start to activate some of the colour again. So. I didn't want to brush them too much. Now the yellow that I'm using now, that is some um, Dina Wakeley collage tissue paper with gloss spray on it. Um, it creates a lovely texture when that dries. It got, kind of goes a bit crunchy, which is really nice. Um, then just some bits of spotty tissue paper. Then that had a really good dry. And then I'm just going to draw the face down on that bottom right hand page. Um, it didn't quite go to plan. Once I started using the uh, water soluble pencil, but you will see. But it's all a learning curve, isn't it? And um, being, not being afraid to try is what it's all about. So I'm just sketching in the face features now, and then I'm going to use a paintbrush and start to activate it. This is where it gets scary. <laughs> um, so just adding in places where there would be a bit of shadow, Sorry about my arm stretching across the page. I must have had my water over that other side, which wasn't very clever, was it? Um, so the, the eyes and the nose went okay, but then the mouth went a bit strange. <laughs> um, yeah, and kind of like now when I look back, I kind of think I should have just got some kitchen roll and given it a good blot, and then that might have helped rescue it a little bit. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, she ended up looking incredibly sad, this lady. So then I'm going in with some Neo Colour 2s and just doing a little bit of scribbling and then water activating those as well, just to add a little bit more colour onto some of the pieces of book paper. Um, then some splatters with some gloss sprays. And then I decided that I would spread those around a bit on her cheeks. more gloss sprays, just some splatters, I'm trying to use the same sort of colours that I've already put on the page. Then some scribbles. And this is some watercolour ink. Um, so I'm just going to pop those at the top, drips of those at the top of the page, and then I'm going to let them, a little bit of spray of water, and just let them drip down. These are Ecoline uh, watercolour inks. They're beautiful, rich colours. They're very pigmented. They're ever so nice to use. And then just adding a little bit more detail into the face using the pencil again and activating it. <laughs> Still really scary. Um, but overall, apart from the fact that her mouth went a bit strange and she looked ever so sad, I was quite pleased with how this page came together. And I really enjoyed um, Tiff's video. So if you haven't watched it, I suggest that you go and have a look at it and see how it's really meant to be done. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's it was a good fun page to do. So there we go. Here's the final page. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.